dollar hi hello fun and welcome back to my fallout 4 mini series of Florville. where today i am surprised to be back here oh boy in the last episode i said that um if we had to do another quest to find the what source code i would be out and um yeah it turns out we have to do another quest to find the what source code <sighs> But I've been told it's not one of the other really crappy quests of do all these other stupid things first before I finally give you the thing. So I decided to stay and do it because I need some form of satisfying conclusion to this. I really want to know what's going on here. And that, honestly, I think annoys me most of all. I started out loving this mod, still do like it, but how they've structured the quest and how you figure out the information I just don't like, but I like the story enough to keep doing it. I have a problem. <laughs> but yes, apparently to get that Watts source code, we've got to go talk to the barber, and thank you to the one commenter who did accurately say that. Everyone else just, uh, going on about the Watts Consumer Electronics Store, which I did forget about, so thank you for reminding me about that, but yes, that's not where the code is, or at least not where we can find it without doing the quest. I think someone else in a forum post or something somewhere said that that's where it leads, maybe? I, oh God, I don't remember. But it's the barber who we have to talk to. So, all right, over here, over here, and hi, Bobby. Excuse me. Oh, hey there. Glad to see you dropped by. Yeah. Uh -huh. you need a haircut? No, I don't. I'm your man. For a yeah, woman I, like you, mm -hmm. I could do it for 20 caps. You hitting on me? Hmm. Looking for a job. Looking for a job, if you've got one. I'm just a humble barber. I cut hair, nothing more. I don't have any work for you. Oh, oh, thank God. I got really worried there, but you holding out on me? You holding out on me? Hmm. All right, you seem like the resourceful type. Well, that was easy. Maybe I do have a little something I need doing. Uh -huh. I have this friend, you see. His name's Duke. Yes. I've been trying to get in touch with him for a while now, and I just can't find him. Do you think you could help me out? Ah, uh, yeah, this. How do you know anything about the Commonwealth? What have you heard? We have ways of communicating with the outside. Oh. We make it our business to learn everything we can about the Commonwealth. That's but not suspicious, no. you yourself with that. Can you help me find Duke? I mean, I should do a job, I get paid. I do a job, I get paid. Don't worry, I'm a fair businessman. The job pays 200 caps. Yeah, I'm gonna need more than that. I sneeze and I make 200 caps in this game. Only 200 caps? You can do better. All right, let me think. How about I do you half a half price on top of the 200? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you know, you're gonna have to do better than that. You can do better than that. Here's my final offer. 200 caps, half price haircuts, and I'll throw in this sweet jacket. You won't find anything like this anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Honestly, this is an awful deal, and I don't like any of that. I wanted more money, but okay, apparently that's what we're going to go for there. I'll find him for you. I'll find him for you. You don't know what a relief this is for me. He's got an apartment in the city? That might be the best place to start. I'm looking for something? Campbell, quiet for you. Someone? Ooh, also, crap, I just realized I need to check something. I was testing out a mod for the next mod episode earlier. Am I still in god mode? Hold on, hold on. Oh, thank God. Yeah, COD mode disabled. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh. All right, glad we didn't go out into the world and fight something before that. Okay, Why don't you cool. go bother someone else? Quiet vault security. All right, so we got to go find a dude named Duke out in the world that these people somehow know Where's and you, are somehow in contact with people from the outside world because um, they want to know what all's going on, which I can kind of understand. But also, with all the other questions about these people, just seems even more suspicious. Ah, uh, where are we actually going? Do we know yet on the map? It, I actually do have a marker this time, so that's good. Uh, down here. Okay. Alright, cool. We got Mass Bay Medical. We'll teleport to there when we make it outside. Alright, good. Thank crap we don't have to, like, go fetch you. some hair extensions for that dude or something before getting this. It actually seems like a proper, straightforward quest. So let's go find this Duke dude, hopefully find the source code, and then we can figure out what the crap is going on in Vault 4. Ah! 
I just... I have a very love-hate relationship with this mod. It started out, like I said, and have said multiple times, so great. With a good story that I really liked. And even with the crappy quests, I still love the voice acting. They've done great with it. It's just the... Ugh, all the stupid fetch quests. I hate them. Plus the fact that there is, or at least doesn't seem to be any straightforward way to actually get to the main point of the story of this whole thing. You literally just have to do everything, and there's no um, actual quest path? That's what I was assuming with what I thought was the main story with the whole election and all that. But no, no, it turns out they, they have no overarching story that connects everything together, which actually kind of sad. I really would have expected something like that from a mod of this quality. But no, it's just a random hodgepodge of, of uh, quests that you all have to complete to get the full picture. And I just... Oh, I don't like that design. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this Find the Duke thing isn't too bad, we can get what we need, figure out the thing, load that source code, and expose the AI and whatever the crap is going on down there. But, I don't know, with my luck it's going to lead to even more fetch quests. Oh no, no. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? We're heading uh, that away. Alright, cool. Alright, gun out. We're in downtown. We're gonna have enemies about now. Pearwood residence. Whoa! Uh. What? They're just standing there. Oh, they're not even units! I'm trying to hit Q to. Go into vats to see why they're not hostile, but they're just... Oh, they're dead! Well, that one was at least. What the... Whoa! <laughs> Alright, I don't know if this is the mod's fault or the game's fault, but we also got a random trash can there. There we go, I gave physics back to it. Nope, that's just still... Huh. Okay, I mean... Oh, the thing is inside there. Let's, hold on, is there another way in, or do we have to, have to go through that door? Oh, yeah, it's like physically in the building. Okay, yeah, let's go through that door. That seems to be the right course of action. Yep, there we go. Hop, and Pearwood Residences. <laughs> yeah, what was with that super mutant? <laughs> oh, I got real worried there that maybe I turned off AI or something, because I do that when I'm testing mods sometime. Like I said earlier, that's why I had God Mode still on. Um, hmm. But no, no, I wasn't doing anything AI involved earlier. Hmm, lots of glowing fungus. As, uh, where am I going? What am I doing? Anything of value here? No. Elevator, we gotta go up. Alright! Let's do this. Okay, yeah, so just going a really up. weird broken super mutant outside all right we went ever so slightly higher how the uh, theater district so that's back outside i guess we jump okay and hop there we go made it in duke's apartment that's a very inconvenient place to live though i guess also better defended Oh, search Duke's apartment for clues to his whereabouts. All right, light on. What do we got? Let's check here first. Ooh, ooh, bullets. Oh, note. Ooh, right away. <laughs> oh, goldfish. Got a strange one for the first entry into my journal. I made up with the contact I'd been told about. I'd never seen him before, and he was acting real secretive. Said that the job was worth a lot of money and gave me a map along with the key to the place. Then, oh, who am I kidding? Journals are bullshit. Why does everyone keep these things? I don't know. I've never really understood either, but okay. Search for more clues. Also, what did that just say? Watts key? I didn't see the corner. I was busy looking around the room and before it went away. Well, it was labeled Watts, so let's just go to miscellaneous real quick. 
And all the way to the bottom. Keep it going. Keep it going. Boy, I have too much crap in here. Watts factory key. Oh. Okay, so it's a Watts factory heist. Oh. I don't care for those. All right, next room. Also, shotgun. We're in tight quarters here. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Another note by a bed surrounded by buff out. Wait. Oh, that wasn't a note. I thought that was a note there. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, there's a note. <laughs> yeah, I saw that stone there and thought that was paper. <laughs> No, that is paper. Perfect. Note for digits. <laughs> digits, I've locked the mission brief in my safe. If you come by... Oh, the person's name is Digits. Oh. Oh. All right. If you come by, you'll have to unlock it to get it out. Slight problem, I dropped the key down the toilet. No way I'm reaching down there to get it. So, yeah, you're on your own with that one. Cool. Cool. Toilet. Ooh, frag. All right, I mean, I'll take those. Open safe. Duke's note. Nothing else of value. All right, oh God, I got all the way back up at the top. Wait, hold on, if I go to there and then back here, does it, nope, doesn't reset. <laughs> all right, so it's time to scroll. Okay, Duke's, was it? Uh, the journal was the first one because he complained about journals being bullshit. And now Duke's note. There we go. All right, digits. This one came down the chain through our usual contacts. We're going to be hitting one of those pre-war tech factories. The company is called Watts or something like that. Made weapons. We've got to download some kind of computer code. Oh, thank crap. Oh, my God, yes. From a terminal in one of the factories. But there's a catch. The whole place is underwater. Oh, no. I'll meet you at the docks tonight. Bring the usual crew. All right. Travel to the Watts Electronics Factory. Well, first I want to check out what's out here. See if there's anything useful to steal. Ooh, shotgun shells. Yep. All right, now we can leave. <laughs> All right. Back to Pearwater or Pearwood Residence. Just thinking about where we're heading. <laughs> and hop down. And nope, that's not where we can. Jangles! God, I hate jangles. All right, down more. <laughs> Just where do we come in at? All the way down? Yep, all the way down. Oh, not all the way down. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Nope. Oh. Oh. Well. <clears throat> There we go. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. Out to the theater district. <laughs> oh, stupid jangle sitting in that chair like that. God, I hate those things. They're so creepy. Okay. So let's go make our way to a factory and download the source code from a Watts factory computer. Perfect. I wonder if we'll meet Duke and Digits. Oh, I hope so. That'd be nice. You know, meet some other characters. Plus, with someone named Digits, I just... I want to meet them and see what sort of person someone named Digits is going to be. It just seems fun. But, first we got to actually get outside. It's one heck of a long loading sequence this go around. Don't recall it taking this long to get in. But finally! Alright, let's see. Where are we heading? Oh, over there. Oh, by Warwick Homestead. Alright, cool. Let's do that. Another long, fast travel. And, oh god, we're gonna have to get underwater there? Oh boy. Well, I have the Aqua Girl perk, so... That actually shouldn't be a problem. Pretty sure we can breathe underwater. Or at least it takes us a really long time to die down there. But yeah, we're going to have to find the entrance, which is going to be interesting. Hopefully the waypoint is directly on it, and we're not going to have to swim around for 
too long. With my luck, though. Alright, let's get a different gun out. Beautiful problem solver. Alright, let's roll. Leave the... Are they Norwegian ghouls up there? I forget where they're from. <laughs> okay, so... Down into the water we go. And... Sploosh. Alright, so let's just get directly over it first. And then head on down. Oh, is that meant to be like one of the smokestacks, or is that one of the floating bits? Let's actually take a look. I'm intrigued. So I know we've seen plenty of floating bits. Yeah, this is factory bits. Nice! Sunken factory! Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Up we go. Come on. Beautiful. Well, no digits here. <laughs> All right, down we go. And light. Oh, oh, nope. There we go. Light on. <laughs> All right, we got a hole. Unlock. Beautiful. Please let it not be just entirely full of water. Oh, I hope there's some air pockets. Oh, no. It's probably going to be one of those things where you have to swim to air pockets. Oh, God. Air? Oh, thank crap. All right. Why is it telling me that way? That's back outside the Commonwealth. Oh, no. The thing's messed up. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. This tube is just... All over the place. Well, that's not good that we seem to be... Hold on. Was there... Oh, God. You know what? Back up. There we go. All right. There we go. It updated. We're good. Gangrenous feral ghoul. You know what? You just... I have a feeling all of you are alive. <coughs> Surprisingly, none of you were alive. Okay. <laughs> I had to know. I had to know. All right, so now we have to find it in this place. Yeah, find a way to reach the upper level of the factory. All right, well, that's not as bad as not getting any info of just search. Ooh, pump management. I also thought I saw something moving over there. Now we're good, we're good. Pump management. Instruction for operators. In the event of an extreme fire, use your key to access the emergency pump fuse box. Proceed to the upper exit as soon as possible, only to be used in an emergency. Pulling the switch will cause the basement to flood completely. Com completely. <laughs> All right, so we gotta find that key. Do we? Do we have that key? Only opens with a nope. key. Oh God. Oh no. We're gonna have to find that thing somewhere. Ah crap. It's not on the nails. Oh, fuse box key. Oh hi. <laughs> Oh no, nails! Don't tell me digits is in here somewhere. Well, I just see ghouls. Also, a vault resident password. Yeah, we might go check that. Mr. Simmons. Oh my god, a lot of vault resident passwords. Mr. Abel's. <laughs> I will probably never go and check those out, but I mean, we got it just in case. Ooh, nice source of laser rifles if you're into that. And, yeah, no no digits. All right, cool. I'm happy about that. We just found nails. All right, we got the fuse box key. Activate. All right. Now that allows us to get up here. There we go. And... Oh, come on. Come on. You can jump. There we go. We're up. Oh, hi, people. Oh, hey, Duke! <gasps> digits! Yay! <laughs> I don't know why I have the idea of digits being so amusing to, amusing to me, but cool. Cool. Also, yeah, a lot of weaponry up here if you, if you like yourself some energy weapons. Nice. Hi, folks! How's it going? Don't mind me! Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Well... Yeah, you didn't make it easy, did you? You've been hard to find. You didn't make it easy, did you? You've been hard to find. What are you talking about? Look, we really don't have time for this. 
There's more of them coming. Ah. Get behind the sandbags and get ready. Digits. Oh, oh, cool. How close are you to cracking that terminal? Almost there, boss. Just a few more minutes. You better get a move on. Yep. We've got ghouls mm. coming. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. What the? Die! Eh, that one's dead. How dare you, rotting ghoul! Alright, someone else shoot him, please. That's why you don't screw with the gunners. Oh, you guys are gunners, huh? Another I mean, you look far, but. Gun. Who else? Well, there. That's who else. Lock and load. Good riddance. Alright. Reload. Still got two over there. I got it, boss. Alright. Let's get inside and seal that door. What about grit? Nothing we can do for them now. Let's just get out of here. You got I it, mean, boss. Holy crap. Holy crap. Why didn't I see this earlier? Oh, I didn't mean to grab the gun. I just wanted all the bullets. Nice. Nice. You guys had a pretty good now. set of Oh boy. Nope. Oh. oh no. Failed to get the safety. Whoops. <laughs> I was so busy grabbing ammo. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh, there was actually a time limit to get through the door? Help! There, oh, you didn't die, huh? All right, there we go. You too, sir. You're you're done for. And um, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end it today because I <laughs> I'm gonna have to do everything from the start and bring us back here next episode, so that then we can get inside. <laughs> Oh my god, of course. Of course. There's never a time limit to things in there. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's it for this episode, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You come back for the next when we actually make it inside that room. And, um, and then we'll move on from there. Oh, see you next time, folks.